Okay, welcome back. So as a step number six, I'm going to do installation. If you miss out this part, you can review the previous video on that. Um, now this step will take, a, it will take some time, yeah? So first I'm going to uh, carry on with the previous steps that I'm going to uh, download the, the, the correct installation of uh, uh, Moodle, uh, the correct Moodle for my PSP and SQL. So I'm going to have a look Moodle, what they have. All right. So I'll leave it there, I'll come back there later. Uh, Moodle dot org. So I'm going to find out which version is the best for me. And I don't think the license will work. Though. I don't think that will help me much. So I'm get the development release. And I don't think that helped me. My one is the current one I install is 5.1. And the PSP is 5.3, so it's that not help. I'm going to the old one, very old one. So I'm going to version 6 would be the best for me. So the best one is 5.3 PSP, the which is I have. That's a PSP 5.3, and my MySQL is 5.1. Okay, that's really beautiful. So I'm get this down. So first, I just get the link, right? I just download the link only, so I'm not doing anything with it downloading. Uh, let me stop the download. Okay, then I'm going back to my Linux. Uh, go back to my Linux there. I uh, get the link already, so I'm going to, at the moment, I'm standing at Apache web root folder. So I get that link down. So I download it, it takes some time. Uh, I don't think it's right. So I get the link. Click on the link. Then copy the link then. Copy the link. And do this again. WG. No, that's better. Okay, so after I download, I'm going to unzip them and then I'm start to install and work on that right away. And with the help with the Moodle documentation, I come back here the Moodle documentation. Okay, so now uh, I'm out there. Now I have the file ready, I believe. There we go. So that one, I'm going to take that off that to make less compute for me. Okay, bye bye. So that's the correct one, 30, 38 megabyte. Okay, so I'm going to tie uh, that model out and we unzip here. It will take some time to finish it. All right, done. So there is the unzip already, and then now I'm going to uh, model that folder there. Now I'll go back to the web, my web folder again, and I type model. Then they, we, now we start to do installation. Okay, that's the first option they have. Click next. And then see what they got. All right, so directory, all right. It will give the trouble, but you're going to read this really carefully. I'm going to make that folder. Ex example, I don't do anything yet. They gave me some trouble there, I believe. There we go. So you have to make that folder there, okay. And that folder, you need to give a battery or whatever nobody there is readable and writable uh, permission. So I'm going back to my model there. So I'm going to make a folder, uh, data folder, and then I'm going up, sorry, MKDIR, make the folder, and then go up one layer, and then give them permission. So I need to give them permission here. This guy here should be Apache, so CS owner, Apache, Moodle, there we go, so I get back inside again. Well, you can see the, the change here if you wish to, there we go, that's the new one, and that's the old one, okay? So go into Moodle again, stay in there, sorry. Alright, uh, CD to HTML folder again, okay, stay there for now. So now, Moodle, that folder already done. Now I click, click next again, it will let me go. Done. Okay, SQL. 
So that's my MySQL, happy with that. Click next. Now I have nothing with this. I just click in here, they give me a bit trouble there. Okay, so I have to do a database, a username and password. To make a quick help here, you may go to documentation there and then go for uh, go for the old version, very old one, which is I use 2.6 and then go into a document installation. You can go detail there if you wish to, but I go the basic one here. The basic one there, quick installation. And then I'm going to Moodle uh, database, creation of database. So I copy this on entirely to make things to start, make things simple to start with. So first I'm going to my MySQL and then I show my database if there is any database there yet. So there's nothing there. So I run here. And then next one, going to make a database for Moodle. Okay. A pass, I make it simple as pass, makes as a testing purposes, okay? Not in the real life. Uh -oh. That's a single quotation. I make it pass. And the username, I change to user. Or you can make any user, but in the real life, you're going to make a lot more complicated than that. And I'm happy with the model database. Hit enter, you got it there. Then you can see the more model database already. The empty, the blank. Okay, I'm going back to my model there and type my model. That's what I have. Username, make a username, pass, pass. And database, pass. That's right. And click next. Okay, now next one, I'm going to make the configuration file which is I have to make that file and I make in this folder. Okay, so I copy that bit here, copy it from here to the end, and then go into, get out of there first, of course, go inside Moodle, and then nano, and uh, config.psp, and then paste it in there, I have the whole thing there, and then save it. Okay, go back to my Moodle again, click next. It will take some time to get there. Okay, so now I have uh, a Moodle, everything set up, uh, database set up. Now I'm going next one, and now we may face another trouble again, which is the Moodle during our uh, installation. I mean, the, the, the image that Google provide is not complete on the PSP uh, add-on. So now we have to work on a lot of add-on with PSP. So all of that, you see a red button there, it won't let you go. See that, the red on the left there, it won't let you go, unless you fix them. The yellow is all right, it's just a warning, but the rest, no way you can pass them. So first I have to work it out that, and that would be XML, and I work on that, work on that, I work all of that, so make it look good. But the last one, I won't change anything because we have only a minor memory that Google provide, I mean, give to, uh, to use. So now I'm going to work on one at a time. So, yum, then uh, I list out, at least have anything to do with PSP, right? This our PSP uh, dash yum list. So I have so much list there. So I'm going to do yum dash y install. The first one I'm going to do would be um, would be that one to fix the red, the first red. Okay, now the first red there, I got it there, and next one, space, and then I'll go for the XML, XML is the second one, and then next one is M stream, 
aim string will be somewhere there we go and following is xml there xml rpc and next one will be sa sa there we go and then international related language in i believe which is more required okay so i think very much done so you see all the string i put in one single string and hit enter that is the owner of a whole lot for you okay completely so what i'm going to do now is i have to re reload reload my um, web server otherwise it's not going to work at all did not apply the new setup so go back to the web and then reload that it would take some time right looking good so now it's done the job already now you see that it continue all the way you have a red there it won't let you go okay what next step we're going to do and then that's it final touch up and then you basically you just follow the step by step and remain and you finish your Moodle installation and then it takes some time there it takes some time there and then you will finish it up it take a long time so when you got continue click on continue and then you set up the username and all the small feature and then your model is done okay example you set up a username here um, your pass put some pass there and don't forget them for the first time I think I forgot them password username test a symbol and then finish it up Moodle uh, with with Centro six on Google Cloud. Okay. Uh, same for learning management system. And then I'm done. Okay, I um, have the model, so you can size out and size back in with your account. Then you have the example model, and the the rest is left for the educator, whoever want to manage model or create the class as mean. And then test my password. You log in. Then that's it. The example have the example to have model um model on. Uh, uh, Google Cloud and CentOS and all of that sets up so far is for free. All right, best of luck. And if you want to, if you wish to watch for the next one is SSL creation and see you in the next video. Or you miss out any part, you can revise it. If you wish, it, if you like it, please subscribe. It. Thank you. Bye for now.